Hello, this is Grandmaster Herbert M. Ware, 33rd Mount Tabor Grand Lodge, AF and AM in Houston. I'm going to share something with you today that is near and dear to my heart. I've used these seven affirmations over the several decades. Uh, at every available opportunity, I pass out the entire list, part of the list, or whatever the case may be. They will prove to be of value to you. They will prove to be of added value to your life. And uh, this is guaranteed. All you have to do is utilize them morning, noon, and night. If possible, commit them to memory. I entitle these affirmations, Abundant Life, Love, and Happiness. So I'm going to ask you to uh, write them down. Listen or listen to this video re repetitiously, repeatedly. Um, commit them to memory because, again, guarantee they will have a positive effect upon your life. These affirmations will cover all five areas of your life, spiritual, family, financial, physical, and social. It will be beneficial in all of those areas. So let's get started. Affirmation number one, I am pure spirit and will always be. Inside of me, all things are understood and known. God is in me and responds to me as I ask of him. The Holy Spirit in my body is perfect. Therefore, my body is perfect. God's word says at 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 that God is able to make all grace abound to me so that I always have all sufficiency in everything. I work, and through God's great law of attraction, every person and everything in life that I need for my work and fulfillment is coming to me now. I have a magnetic personality. People are calling me and asking me, and that's where you will fill in the line, fill in the blank, put your goal there. Number two, affirmation number two. I see art and constructiveness all about me. I understand the searchings and copings of everyone I know and see. I know it is impossible to fail when faith is present. And in Luke 1, verse 37, it says, Nothing is impossible with God. The right ideas are being delivered to me. I work and so the objects of my work are being accomplished this very minute. Success, harmony, peace, and confidence or mine because God gives them to me. Affirmation number three. God has made himself manifest in me. I have placed my future in divine hands. Galatians 3, 26 and 29 says that I am a son of God through my faith in Jesus Christ. And since I belong to Christ, I am heir to God's covenant with Abraham. In John 15, 7, it says that because I abide in Jesus and God's word abides in me, whatever I ask for in Jesus' name will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ, my goals are being delivered to me for they are goals of God who never fails. Because I work, God and the Holy Spirit are supplying my every need. Number four. I am anointed by God. The voice of truth guides me along the path of my life. The answers come with the questions. The path is lit with the first step. The way is cleared with the looking. The goal is in sight with the desire. All that is good, I desire. I do not seek, I know. I do not strive, I am guided. I do not think responsibly, I think originally. I do not react, I act. Affirmation number five, 1 John 2.20 tells me that I need to thank God for the anointed Holy Spirit that abides in me and teaches me wisdom and discernment between truth and error. And I can draw from that Holy Spirit perfect intelligence for my mind, perfect health for my body, perfect peace for my spirit, perfect happiness for my life, and perfect love for those I meet and know. 
And I look at Psalm 71 and 2, 71 verses 1 and 2. And I say that I take refuge in you, O Lord. Therefore, in a, I move in accord with divine intelligence. God's love is complete in me. I am serene and sure, joyful and achieving, and confident of ultimate splendor. Psalms 91 10, verses 10 and 11. God's word tells me that no evil will befall me, nor will any plague come to my tent, my home. I look for the energy of the Holy Spirit to permeate my being and cleanse me of all impurities of the flesh and restores every function of my body to harmony. I surrender myself to the wisdom and guidance of the Holy Spirit. I see only peace, power, vigor, and plenty in my life. Affirmation number seven. I know that I am pure spirit, deathless, birthless, changeless, and eternal. I speak with conviction and it manifests in my life. I do not fear death, nor do I invite death, for it must wait until my work is done. I turn away from the world about me to the world of consciousness that lies within. The mask of vanity, ego, and fear I shall never wear again. I perceive a magnificent dweller at the center of my consciousness, and I know him to be God. I thank you, God, for your grace, your mercy, and your favor in my life. I thank you, Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for the remission of my sins. I thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit, who is my guide, my protector, and my way shower here on earth. I ask I recommend, I implore you to use these affirmations. Give them 21 days. Come back on the YouTube channel. Give us a report. Guaranteed you will see positive results. Thank you.